Hi, everybody. This is Sheila Aliens. And a special hello to anyone in the future who might be listening to this in the year 2029, as this is a video about asteroid Apophis. But real quick, for us people living in current year, tomorrow, January 26, 2023, there is an extremely close asteroid flyby. According to scientists, there's no danger of a collision, but newly discovered asteroid 2023 BU will make an extremely close approach to Earth this Thursday, January 26th. The five meter wide space rock will be just 3,500 kilometers above South America, well within our planet's belt of geosynchronous satellites. Europe's virtual telescope project will live stream the flyby. So that is asteroid 2023 BU, which we can take a look at over here on NASA's asteroid visualizer here. Here it is, 2023 BU size is 4.87 meters or around 16 feet in diameter. So we can go ahead and take a look at how that nearby pass might look. We're gonna play and see what it's gonna look like, I guess, when it passes by Earth. I'm gonna see exactly how close this is gonna get here. It's only 16 feet, it's not that big. And this is its closest approach here. Interesting. So. Expect some fireballs from that. Now we're going to take a look at the big scary one, Apophis, who you people in the future might be tuning in to hear about, which it's going to be a big deal. There's going to be mass hysteria, I assume, as we get closer to that date, which is April 13th, 2029. But here we have Apophis, 99942 Apophis discovered on June 19, 2004, at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Tucson, Arizona, my hometown. Average diameter, 340 meters, which is around 1,100 feet in diameter, which is, to my understanding, that's how tall the Eiffel Tower is, is 1,000 feet tall. But this thing has mass. You see how big it is. It says here on April 13, 2029, the asteroid Apophis will pass less than 23,239 miles from our planet's surface, just outside the distance of geosynchronous satellites and closer to Earth than any similarly sized, potentially hazardous object in recorded history. At that time, Apophis will be visible to observers on the ground in the Eastern Hemisphere without the aid of a telescope or binoculars. It's just gonna be very visible. That's crazy. Imagine that. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through time and space here. Through all these stars. Look at all these stars moving around, controlling the ebb and flow of our lives. As we fast forward into the future, where some of you already are. But some of us are not. Okay, this is like a few days from the closest approach. Now, where's Earth? There's Earth. So here we are, April 9th, 2029, in this little simulation here from NASA that we can control. So again, this asteroid that could kill us if it hits Earth is passing within 23,239 miles of our planet, one-tenth the distance of our own moon. We shouldn't even allow this to happen. Look at how close it gets. It's literally right there. It's going to be a lot closer than the moon. It's going to be as close as our satellites. Oh, oh my God, look how close it gets. Oh my gosh. What the heck? It's too close, you guys. It's too close. This is scary. I don't want to keep going. What is the plan here? What's the plan? It fuck us up um, immensely. If it lands anywhere in the ocean, that's a huge tidal wave around the world. Right? Am I crazy? And they're so sure by their calculations that it's going to miss? You guys. Apophis is coming. And it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be mass hysteria. Unless by that time, they try to do something about it. 
So I just want to show that to you guys. Kind of interesting. There will be a link in the description where you can watch tomorrow's live stream of the small asteroid that's passing by Earth tomorrow. Probably, you know, not of much interest, but... But this Apophis, like, yo. It's already been through a lot, you can tell. Look at it. We need to blow this sucker up. Or, yeah, we need to point a laser at it and get it the fuck away from us. Like, if it gets pulled into our orbit, it's going to start circling the planet. It's going to circle around for who knows how many days or hours before eventually entering the atmosphere with a gigantic boom that everybody would probably hear on the planet. And then it would start burning up as it enters the atmosphere. But not much of it's going to burn up. But we're fucked if this happens, you guys. So we're hoping it passes by us and does not begin to circle us. Figure it out. All right. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching.